All right, so day four of the retreat. Today again, shoulders inversions. If you want props or anything that feels good, add them into your practice. You can modify and advance um, these poses. So I will show the modification and then move on. Um, give me one second. I am not muted, so. Okay, so hopefully that does the trick. Um, let's get started top of your mat. Top of your mat, reach your hands up high to the sky. Grab your right wrist, bend left, and really get that bow shape into your body. Press your rib cage and reach to the opposite direction. Arrive back up to center, feel length, and then reach over. So you ground to the outer edges of your feet, trying to reach, 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 and then arrive back to center. Chest expansion, hands behind you, go to the wide part of your mat, cross Cerrito, wide leg forward fold, toes in, heels out, and drop your head down. Shift your weight a little bit more forward. And then slowly rise all the way up. You can keep your chest expansion, press your knuckles down, lift your heart up, open mouth, exhale. Arrive your head back to center. Walk your feet in hips with distance. Extend your right arm out to the side. Flex your hand and take your left ear, left shoulder. Lift your chin up. You can close your eyes and focus on your breath. As if you're sipping through a straw, focus on the inhale. Arrive back to center, other side. Extend your left arm out to the side, right ear, right shoulder, lift your chin up. Breathe a little bit deeper, focus on the inhale. Now arrive back up to center, goal post your arms, and eagle on the right. Take your right arm underneath your left, Clap the hands together, grab the shoulders, lift your elbows away from your face or elbows in line with your shoulders, forearms press away and breathe into your upper lungs and upper back. And then other side, goal post your arms, take your left arm underneath your right, lift your elbows up, Press your forearms away, breathe into your upper lungs and upper back. All right, goal post your arms and just take the arms halfway down and then press back, halfway down, press back, just for three. Last two, last one. Drop your hands down by your side, shoulder rolls up towards the ears, all the way down your back. And then take your right arm back behind you. I have the sun setting down my body. <laughs> take your left hand behind the back of your head. So right hand behind your back, left hand behind the head. Bring your nose down to the left armpit. You should find the stretch behind the back of your neck and behind your right shoulder blade. Arrive back up to center, other side. Take your right, sorry, your left arm behind you, right hand behind your head. Drop your nose down to the right armpit. Kind of move your chin around, elbows, a little bit of pressure to the back of your head. Okay. 
And rise back up to center. Shake out your arms. Shake it forward and back. And then circle the arms. Take your arms forward. Drive your arms back. All right, once again, if you tuned in a little bit later, just make sure that your space is clear. And today is shoulders and inversion, inver inversion, so make sure that you're not gonna hit anything. Let's go to the top of our mat here, reach up to Dasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, shoulders back. And exhale, fold. Two more times, inhale, Tadasana, sweep all the way up, stand tall. Exhale, fold, hinge at your waist. You can even fly the arms back and up if you like. One more time, inhale, Tadasana, reach all the way up. And exhale, fold. Hands go down, Malasana Yogi Squat. Take your feet to the outer edges, drop your seat down. Hands can roll out your wrist or hands to your heart center. Now, what helps me in, in inversions is opening up the hips. So make sure shoulders are open, hips are open. And again, if you've been doing this retreat a lot, you might be a little sore. So if it doesn't work with you today, just have fun. Right hand down, left arm high. And then left arm down, right hand high. Hands go down, step back, high plank pose. One foot and then the other. Now feel your strength here. Heels of the palms back, heart forward. Fan out your fingers nice and wide. Now your belly is engaged. Your inner thighs are working towards the midline. All the way down to your belly. Right arm out to the side, make sure it's straight. Roll over your right shoulder, the left knee points up. If you want a little bit more, squeeze your thighs together and feel a deeper shoulder stretch here. Other side. Left arm is straight, so roll over your shoulder. Once again, both knees together. And each shoulder might feel a little bit different here. And this is a stretch you can also take on the wall at any time. All right, back to center, tent your fingertips off your mat, pretty wide here for Cobra Pose. Inhale, lift your heart up. And exhale, hover down. Two more, inhale, lift heart up. And exhale, hover down. One more, lift up, hover down. Hands by your shoulders, high plank pose. Once again, feel the strength. So you wanna feel as if there's a resistant band around the arms. The active belly, strong legs, and energy roots to crown. Downward facing dog, press your hips up and back. Dolphin pose, drop down to your forearms. Now feel as if you're squeezing a block between the forearms. So squeezing a block is like forearms squeezing in rather than wrists going in. So that's really important here. The hands are in 11, hold three, two, drop down to your knees, puppy dog pose. Reach your hands forward, hips stay over the knees and drop the crown of your head down, forehead down or chin. Slide forward, sphinx pose, hands in 11 once again. Draw your left to your left shoulder. Hands 
And then right ear, right shoulder. Arrive back up to center. Hands by your shoulders, high plank pose. Tuck the toes, press up. Feel your strength. Arrive halfway down and hold. Elbows frame your rib cage. Feel really strong here. Upward facing dog, pull your heart forward. Downward facing dog, hips go up and back. Take your right toes high. Walk your hands to the back of your mat. Fold standing splits just here for two rounds of breath. Feet go hips with distance. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. One more, inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Tadasana Mountain Pose, reach all the way up. Hands to your heart center. Figure four on the right. Right knee comes up, travel right foot over and shift your weight back and down. So we're just stretching a little bit here and then we'll invite the um, inversions. Drop the right knee down just a little bit more. Sink your weight back and down. Really feel the stretch of the right outer hip. If it feels okay, twist. Right elbow to the right sole of your foot. Back to center. One leg Tadasana. Travel right foot behind for a side body stretch. Reach your hands up. Grab your right wrist and bow to the left. Now hands to your heart, step your right foot forward, middle of your mat, and take your left foot up, figure four. Shift your weight back and down. Now it's okay if you're holding onto a wall like me or um, anything that you like, just modify if you need, stay balanced, breathe into the left outer hip. If you did other side twist, take your left elbow to the right, to the left elbow to the left sole of your foot. All right, back to center, one leg Tadasana. Side body stretch, swoop your left foot around, reach up. Grab your left wrist, bend right. Arrive back up to center, hands to your heart. Step your left foot forward and your right foot to join. Utkatasana chair pose, bend your knees. Open arm twist, right hand goes back behind you. Inhale, chair pose. Other side, open arm twist. Chair pose, hands to your heart. Prayer twist, left elbow outside of the right thigh. Take a big wingspan for three, two, then just take your hands down and take a low seat here. So you'll lift onto the ball mounts of your feet, plant your hands down, shift your weight into your triceps and just chaturanga your arms. Arrive back to center. Other side will go low. Hands go down just like chaturanga. Bend your elbows back is the tricky part. Lift onto the ball mounts of your feet so your knees are high, triceps are high, and then shift your weight into the arms. All right, back up to center. Chair pose. Hands to your heart, twist. Right elbow outside the left thigh. Big wingspan, left arm down, or left arm high, right arm down. Inhale, chair pose. Airplane your arms. Tadasana to a back bend. Lengthen, reach, then open mouth, exhale. 
Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Listen carefully, tabletop position, all fours. Now, similar to cat cow, you'll drop your chest down, keep your arms straight, and then exhale, round your upper back. Drop chest, exhale, press away. You can go slow or fast. You just want to begin to waken up the muscles into the upper back. Feel the wrists nice and strong. And just three. Last two. Last one. Dolphin pose. I'll show you first actually and then we'll do it all together. So dolphin pose to one leg plank. So how we get there is dolphin pose. You'll tuck your back toes, walk your left foot in and your right foot high. Both arms at the same time. You'll shift your weight forward and flow through chaturanga. Let's do it all together. Hands in an 11, tuck your back toes. Walk your left foot in, take your right toes high. Gaze to the top of your mat, spring forward. High plank pose, halfway down chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Remember if anything is too fast, know that you can buy a slower pace or just modify as you need. Take your left toes high, standing splits to the back of your mat. Walk your hands back. Not here for as long as our first round. Here for two. Feet go hips with distance. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. One more. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Ukatasana chair pose, reach up, hands to your heart center, prayer twist, we'll take our first inversion here. So when you squat down nice and low, once again, hands drop down, hands go in an 11 or elbows bend back, you can use your weight onto your front tricep or hip to the back. Take both feet up. If you want, or if you have the space, you can scissor your legs and know they can drop down at any time. Hold three, two, arrive back to center, and chair pose. Hands to your heart. Prayer twist, other side. We go to the inversion or hold on here. Hands go down. Shift the knees high on towards your tricep. Shift your weight forward to your feet. Naturally lift. Lift up a little bit higher or scissor your legs. You can come down at any time. Hold three, two, and chair pose. Airplane your arms. Tadasana Mountain Pose, just reach all the way up. Hands to your heart center. One leg Tadasana. Right knee goes up in line with your right hip. I'll cue to a bent knee, straight leg if you like. Open arm twist, right hand goes back behind you. Option for the straight leg, ground to the outer edge of your foot. Arrive back up to center, hug your right knee in, and then other side, one leg Tadasana. Left hand goes back behind you. Arrive back to center, hug your left knee in, and stamp your left foot forward to the middle of your mat and join your right foot. 
Utkatasana chair pose, bend your knees. Airplane yarns, sweep back. Tanasana mountain pose, reach all the way up. Hands draw to your heart center. One leg Tadasana. Take your right knee up, and then swing it back, dancer's pose on the right. Grab the inside of your foot, hug your thighs together, knees together. When you're ready, kick into your hands, feel your quad stretch, shin towards the back of the room. All right, back up to center. Stamp your right foot forward, top of your mat. Left knee up and then swing it back behind you. Dancer's pose on the left. One leg Tadasana. And stamp your left foot down. The Lasana Yogi squat. Take your feet to the outer edges and hover down to a seat. Gently shift your weight side to side. Feel your triceps plug into your knees and your knees traction right back into your triceps. Hands go down, crow pose. So not float back just yet. Crow pose, take your feet to the back of your wrist. Knees to the triceps, squeeze in. Shift your weight forward to your feet naturally lift or lift one foot and then the other. Malasana is always there for you. We'll land in Malasana in five. Always welcome to float back, float forward in four. All right, hands go down. Malasana Yogi squat, step back, tabletop position. One knee and then the other. Wrist stretch, take the tops of your hands down. Shift your weight back. Shift your weight forward. Now, while we're on our knees, take modified side plank, left hand down, left knee down, extend the right leg long and reach your top hand all the way overhead. Other side. Right, hands go down. No demo this time, we'll do it all together. Dolphin pose to one leg chaturanga. Drop down to your forearms, so both arms at the same time will lift. Tuck your back toes, plug in your shoulders. Take your left toes high, gaze forward. At the bottom of your exhale, spring forward. Halfway down chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, hips up and back. Gaze forward, top of your mat. At the bottom of your exhale, hop or step forward. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Tadasana mountain pose, reach all the way up. Hands to your heart center, turn to the wide part of your mat, and warrior two, right knee bends. Arms out to a T, inhale reverse triangle, reach all the way up and back. Extended side angle with a half or full bind. Clasp your hands, drive the tricep to the knee or the thigh. Release your fingertips. Inhale, reverse warrior. Triangle pose, straighten out your right leg, reach, right hand down, left arm high.
Warrior two, rise back up. Switch out your legs. Reverse triangle, both hands reach. Extended side angle, half your full bind. Release your bind. Inhale, reverse warrior. Triangle pose, straighten out your legs, reach forward and tick tock your arms. Warrior two and rise up. Prostrate wide leg forward fold. Fold, drop your head down, walk your hands through the legs, drop crown of your head or reach for the outer edges of your feet. Arrive halfway up, low lunge to the top, frame your left foot. Step Malasana Yogi Squat, feet out wide and drop down. Shake out your wrist. So we'll invite crow pose to a float back. You'll land with bent elbows really strong through your side body. When you're ready, hands go down. Know that you're always just welcome to sit and watch or take your modifications, malasana or crow. <clears throat> Shift your weight forward, hold. At the bottom of your exhale, nice and strong, shoot back. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Fan out your fingers nice and wide. So plugging the shoulders in is dropping your shoulders back. So if you're feeling like you're drawing a lot into the tailbone, focus on the shoulders plugging in. Left foot is your base, right toes go high. Now you can take standing splits forward or back. I'm gonna cue to back. Take your hands to the back of your mat to open up your hamstrings. Prepare for handstand. Shoulders draw back. Left foot is your base. Engage your right hip and plug in. Shift your weight forward, lift your left heel. At the bottom of your exhale, tiny lift, tiny hop. You can draw the big toes together above. You can find stillness. You can hop as many times as you like here. Keep going for six. Know that you can always rest five. When you're ready, forward fold. Halfway lift. And exhale fold. Tadasana Mountain Pose, reach all the way up. Hands to your heart center. Roll out your wrist here. Figure four. Options for inversion. Take your right knee up, flex your right foot, hands to the heart, lower down. So hook the right foot to the left tricep. Great option to stay here or hands go down and feel that sensation into crow. Right knee to the right tricep and right foot is flexed around the right tricep. Shift your weight forward. Left knee comes up or goes straight. Squeeze elbows towards the midline. We're here for four. Three. Two. And one, great job. All right, back to center. Shake that side out. Shake out the wrist whenever you need, and let's go to the other side. So know that this one's a little bit shorter. It's a 45 minute practice. 
So always welcome to do this over again or take it at your own pace. Pause whenever you want if you have the recording or you will have the recording. Hands to your heart, left side. Lower down and then find that hook of your left flex foot on towards your tricep. It should be really, really tight there. Hands go down, shift your weight forward. Just like crow, fly up and know that you can extend the right leg straight. Your time, your focus for four. Figure four is where we meet. All the way up to standing. Drop left foot down. Shake that side out. Step to the top of your mat. So we'll go back to a standing split to the right toes high. Um, I'll introduce chaturangas. You can watch me first and then we'll do it together. Standing split to the right toes high. Options to step or float back. The step back is hands down, bend left knee, step back, and chaturanga. Second option, left leg stays landing, right leg stays at a hover. Shift your weight forward, bend your knees, shoot back, land with bent elbows. Last variation gets a little wild, a little tricky. You'll scissor your legs. So you'll land with the opposite. Right leg will be grounded, left leg will hover. When you're ready, shift your weight forward, micro bend, switch, land. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Let's do it all together. I will cue just to the left leg back and the right leg at a hover. If you're moving forward, you want to try a little bit more, feel free. All right, right toes up. Left leg will ground down, hips nice and active, shoulders strong, mid plank. Bend, land, upward facing dog to downward facing dog. Catch your breath if it's a little off pace. Left toes go high. Standing splits, you have the option, front or back of your mat. I will cue to the back. Each side will feel a little bit different. I say you have a good side, bad side. Just have fun with both. Draw your shoulders back. Lift onto the right heel. Shift your weight forward, bottom of your exhale. A hop towards the ceiling. So I'm just piking up today. Know that you can bring your legs together up high. Take as many as you like here, hop. And we'll be here for six. Keep having fun or take a break for five. All right, arrive all the way to a forward fold. Halfway lift and forward fold. Tadasana mountain pose, reach all the way up. Hands to your heart center, prasarita, wide leg forward fold. So we'll invite a supported headstand here. If you do not want supported headstand with your legs separated, you can take it to the top of your mat. I'll cue to it first. You're welcome to go in any time. We'll be here for one full minute. All right, the hands go down, head goes down. Then uh, frame the crown of your head, make a tripod or a triangle. Interlace your fingers, drop the crown of your head down, 
Shift your weight forward, lift your heels. Maybe one leg in, and then the other squeeze. Knees over the hips and extend your legs long. Any variation that feels good. And 40 more seconds here. If it's in your practice to explore leg variations, such as Supta Baddha Konasana or anything, feel free to take it here. When you're ready, slowly come down. Know that we have a couple more inversions to go. So take it easy, catch your breath. Low lunge to the top. It doesn't matter which leg is forward, take runner's lunge. Move around the hip a little bit here. Then take down dog kick. Knee to the right, fall in triangle, or sorry, um, knee out to, let's get on the same foot. So let's go to downward facing dog. Take your left toes high. Knee to the right, fall in triangle. Extend your right hand high or overhead. Hands go down, down dog kick. Knee into the center, down dog kick. Knee to the left, runner's lunge. Drop your right knee. Take a quad stretch. Either go down onto your forearms and ground to the outer edges of your feet. And really open up the left hip. Hands go down. Down dog kick. So I will cue to the inversion. It'll go a little bit fast. It's going to be difficult to talk. So if you need to just watch me demo and then do it, feel free. We'll go to drawing the left knee to the right, Ekapata Crow, and then Hurdlers. So it's a lot into our wrist. Know that you can take none, one, or all. As you're in down dog kick, knee to the right. Bend your elbows just like Chaturanga. Shift your weight forward and kick your left leg off to the side. Lamb down. Left toes go high. So one leg crow. Your left knee goes towards your left armpit or right to the tricep. Shift your weight forward, bend your elbows and take your right toes high. My right foot is down because I'm gonna modify. We're here for three, two, and one. Down dog kick, take a break if you need. Hurdler's pose, left knee to the left. Bend your elbow, shift your weight forward. You can draw the right hip to the right knee and open up. Down dog kick. Malasana Yogi Squat. Shake out your wrist. So you might feel a little tender. Take your time. So know that we have the right side. And then we have crow to tripod. And then that should be all that we have time for. 
So once again, be mindful of your wrist. Know that if you're feeling a little too tension, you can always come back to this. Runner's lunge on the right, right foot forward, left leg back. Move around your hip. Down dive kick, right toes go high. Knee to the left, fall in triangle. Extend your right leg off to the side and lengthen. Hands go down, down dog kick. Knee to the center, curling crunch. Right toes go high, right to right, runner's lunge. Drop your left knee, or yeah, quad stretch. Round to the outer edges of your feet. Hands go down. Here we go, down dive kick. Right toes go high. Knee to the left, just like chaturanga. Land down, back hip to the right, extend your legs long. Hold three, two, and down dive kick. Knee towards the right, um, hug it in, one leg, chatter, uh, one leg crow. Take the right knee to the right tricep. Once again, this is where I'm gonna be today. Hold three. You can also take your left toes high too. And down dog kick. Last push. Right knee to the right, hurdler's pose. Left hip onto the left knee or left elbow. Hold three, two, and down dog kick. Malasana yogi squat. All right, yogi, so we only have two more minutes. So the two minutes, I'll invite you to the tripod as your last pose. I'll also invite you to low, uh, lower down onto your back and stretch it out from there. So I will guide you into tripod and then I'll cue to laying onto your back so the two options are there for you. Really quick, um, but take your time. Crow to tripod, hands go down, hips go high, knees towards the triceps, shift your weight forward, lower the crown of the head down, Knees in line with your hips, extend your legs long. Option to use a wall or stay down, stay up is for as long as you need. If you would like to arrive onto your back and stretch it out, Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of your feet to touch, knees open wide. Press your hands onto your thighs, lengthen out your spine. Hug your knees in. Take legs of the air. We'll go to plow pose for four rounds of breath and then a seat. Reach your legs overhead and breathe. Hands go down, slowly melt down. You can bend your knees, grab the back of your thighs and rock and roll up to a seat. If you're still in tripod, you can invite your body down to a seat.
And then take your right wrist, press it down, and then gently press onto your wrist here. Other side. And place your forearm here. Um, you can't really see it in the camera, but you can look at your forearm and you'll see your nerves kind of dancing around there. You wanna dive into that spot right into your forearm. So it's a pressure point to your wrist. So if you can bring any weights, any foam roll, any um, pressure here, or once again, just a nice self massage. And then other forearm. And sometimes you'll feel that pressure point and you might feel a nice sensation all the way to your wrist here. All right, and then slowly shake out your wrist, relax your shoulders. And we're gonna sit and breathe just for about 30 seconds. So rest your hands in any comfortable position or maybe both hands on top of the heart center and close your eyes. And be proud of yourself when you modify and listen to your body. Be proud of yourself listening and learning. Being curious of where the mind and body will take you. Enjoying your journey. Connecting to your breath. And know that each day, your mind, your body feels a little bit different. Connect within. Notice how light and how bright your light is shining. Take a big inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Three more on your own. Draw your heart to mind, thumbs to your third eye and bow to each other's practice. Namaste. All right, yogis. Um, so that was a lot today. Um, 45 minutes of mostly inversions. So take time to listen to the recording again and use wall space, try it every day, um, journal about it, how you're, successful after class, if you notice what you ate before, if you're really hydrated, if you um, really focused on your breath, if that was your intention to get in. So just focus on the changes, what helps, what doesn't help and take your time. Um, I encourage you not to talk during inversions because it's so hard. <laughs> and um, what else was I gonna say? Obviously be mindful of the wrist and oh, so we did kind of a flow and um, to stretch and then to work the inversions. If you're in class, just have fun. And when you're when they say figure four, um, you have the option to stay and stretch. You have the option to explore. So um, reconnect back with the cues and feeling into that flow. And of course, any feedback, any questions, I'm always here for you.